Bad man wanna be Gucci down. Little baby wanna be Gucci down. You pull out the stick, better shoot me now. Got us on the bed, now you wanna move me now. Bad man wanna be Gucci down. Bad man wanna be Gucci down. Little baby wanna be Gucci down. You pull out the stick, better shoot me now. Ooh, I been call the friends on my head. I got a bad bitch and she brown skin. Got gas in the room. As y'all can tell by the title, this is gonna be crazy college stories. This is part one. I don't know how many parts I'm gonna do because I'm still in school. And this is the TLC. The TLC, well, first of all, I attend Langston University to Oklahoma and I am from Fort Worth, Texas. Texas. Fort Worth, Texas. Every time I tell people that at school, they be like, oh, murder word, oh, oh, fuck you tell. I'm like, okay, I don't care. Not from the hood. I stay in the suburbs, the suburbs, literally. Do you just gotta interrupt my video like that? Like, do you have to interrupt my video like that? I'm gonna tell y'all the tea while I sip my tea. Okay. So this is about the TLC. This is when this dude got shot at this party. And it was homecoming, like, oh my gosh. Okay, so I got some notes so I don't leave that down. Anyway, the TLC is the Langston Center. It's an off-campus party center. The campus says it has nothing to do with Langston, but it's called the Langston Center. At first I was confused about it, but the little city or town that the school is located in is Langston or whatever. I don't know, but that's like our go-to spot. So it was homecoming. And my parents had came up there, well, down there to, to come see the football game and stuff. And they had got a hotel that was, like, down the road. And, you know, I was chilling with my parents and stuff. Um, we went out to eat. I went to the hotel with them. And my dad was getting tired or whatever because I stayed four hours away. So they had to drive four hours. So, yeah, I knew he was kind of tired or whatever. So he was like... You trying to go home now or are you trying to you know stay here and i was like oh, i'll stay for a little bit and i did and then when i was ready to go home my mom took me home but like i drove back to be home i drove back to the campus because i wanted to show her around and something told me y'all something told me to take her by the langston center so i'm driving around campus i'm like this is this this is that you know etc so then i drive over there and she's like where are we going i was like first i'm gonna show you where we have our parties at Second, I'm trying to take me some books though. You know, it's homecoming. I'm going to get turned up, whatever. So we go into this liquor store called Meats. Um, and my mama bought me two Four Locos, a, like a little bottle of Crown Apple. And then, um, before then, I'm telling the story all out of order. But before then, we had stopped by Smitty's. It's the only, like, little gas station that's near my school. Langston is in the middle of no fucking where. Um, so yeah, she stopped there and gave me a six pack of Smirnoff. Like, yeah, I'm turning up with her. Um, they have all some sticks or whatever. It has like TLC really big and then like the Langston Center and small letters, I believe. And it's like a little small little shed, like, like a little hole in the wall, if you know what that is. So then the, the day goes by. So... Um, me and my friends, I'm not even gonna say me and my friends because at the time I had one friend. That's a, I'll do another story time on that one friend. But um, she did, she doesn't smoke, she didn't drink, no, none of that. So, you know, I was basically turning up by myself. Or well, I had some alternate friends, but like, I don't know. I didn't really like that group of friends because, like, I was never invited to their little get togethers or their events. Like, if I didn't call them, we didn't speak. And I don't like one-sided relationships like that. So, no, I was like, mm -hmm. So, I'm turning up, you know, about to get ready to go to the party. I think I went with one of my roommates at the time. Yeah, I, I did go with one of my roommates, and she had her two friends. It was, like, four of us, I think. So, yeah, I'm pre-gaming. And I think I pre-gamed a little too hard. I wasn't like blackout drunk because obviously I remember what happened that night. My words was a little slurred, you know, I'm wobbling just a little bit and it was cold. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm pre-gaming, I'm drinking, taking some shots or whatever. So then we get in the car. I wasn't driving, I was in the front seat. So we pull up, we have to park like 
in down there the neighborhood that's over there because that party was packed like oh my god so there's like this post office so like say the license center is over here across the street so it's on this side of the street we have to park way down here by the motherfucking post office and i see some of my friends i'm like hey hey i'm drunk you know happy or whatever we get in there we turn it up girl i did not know i'm not gonna say i didn't know what to do but you know you drunk so you just do whatever um so i'm you know chilling with my friends that's not my friends hyping them up because that's one thing about me if you my friend if you're with me if you're around me i'm going to hype you up regardless well, no, I'm not gonna say regardless because if you ain't doing shit, I'm gonna come on, come on, dude. come be by me. So they turn the lights on a couple times, and I don't know, dudes, females, whatever, get into it, and they're like, if y'all keep fighting, we gonna shut it down, da da da. What nobody paid attention to them, so we just kept on doing us. Oh my gosh, and I was turkeying on this one dude. I have a video of it too. I was turkeying on this one dude, and I'm drunk, like. <laughs> My friends was recording, I'm slipping and sliding. So I'm like, hold me, hold me. You can hear me in the video talking about hold me. So I'm grabbing my friend's hands and stuff. I'm twerking. I'm bent like all the way over, girl. And I reach back and I start smacking my own butt. Like that's so funny to me. I believe right after that, that's when everybody was like rushing out the door. Like, you know, when black people get to running, everybody takes off running. So I think it was four of us, like exact. So, you know, we partnered up two and two. And somebody told me, Cause I've told the story to other people, but they told me that, oh, you was just drunk, you don't know. But the friend that I was with, she was like, let's go out the back door. And I'm like, no. So we're running through the front door. She's behind me, I believe. We're running out the door and there's a girl in front of me. And then it's a dude. So the door's right here. We're running out the door. The dude hits this corner, right? He hits like this right. I see a dude standing in the distance with his gun like pointed and I think it was like three, two or three shots fired. And I see him hit the dude. But keep in mind, I'm still running out the door. So I see the bullets like hit him and he falls like right there in front of the door. So me and the girl, I'm not gonna name her. Me and the girl take off running um, behind some cars that were like parked right here on the side. I'm drunk. Um, I don't have my phone. I'm crying, like hysterically crying. I'm loud. And my the friends that I was with, or people who knew me, was like, she's drunk, she's drunk. And everybody's like, I know, I can tell, I can tell. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm screaming. It was one dude right here. I'm like, can I see your phone to call my parents? <laughs> so I call, I saw I get his phone. And my first instinct was to call my mom, but her phone be like on silent or vibrate or whatever. So I call my dad. And like as soon as he's answered the phone, I'm like, da -da 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 -da, some dude got shot. Da -da -da -da, I can't give you the <laughs> Just going off. And then he didn't know what to do, so he just handed the phone to my mama. I'm like, mama, I got shot. I'm, I'm like, I said, mama, I got shot. I'm like, mama, somebody got shot right in front of me. He bleeding out on the floor, like. And my dad said she hurried up and dropped the phone, and she just left. Like my mama said she had just got out the shower, like she's chilling. There's this hallway that gets to my school one highway like, it is guthrie and that's where they were and it looked like a little hotel a little quintic inn um, and from guthrie to langston it's about a good 10 15 minute drive my mama said she was coming down that road 90. the speed limit is, or it starts off like 55 60 70 i think the speed limit is 70 on 33 that's the highway 33. So after I called her, whatever, I got off the phone with her. I found my friends and we're heading back to the school and I'm still like going through it, if y'all know what I mean by that. My roommate, so everybody comes to our apartment and I'm just going through it like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So then I finally get my phone and I'm calling my mama and she said that she's over there at the Langston Center. And she's like, I see all these police men. I see all these ambulances. I'm like, my mom not there no more. I'm in my apartment. I'm still like going through it. So then she comes and she just chills with us in the apartment. She makes sure I'm okay. She took me in my room and she's like, you need to calm down. And I'm like, mom, I can't. Like, I'm, and I'm loud. And she's like, shut up. You need to calm down. And I'm hot. I'm sweating. Like I keep going in and out the house because I'm hot. And it's cold outside. She's like, you need to come to the house. Cause the Langston PD or whatever, they were strolling through and stuff, trying to see if everybody was okay. And my mom was trying to keep me inside cause I, I was drunk. Take a sip. And I, ooh. That was 
like my not my first experience like being in a shootout but that's the closest i've ever been you feel me on that i think because i was drunk that's why i didn't know what to do if i was sober i don't think i would have panicked like that before the party like i said this is all out of order i gotta bear with me so before we got to the party i drunk my two four locos like that's why i was so drunk um so then okay back to where we're at the in my apartment, my dorm, chilling. Like I said, I still had that six pack of Smirnoffs. It was in my little refrigerator. And I didn't drink them because I was like, oh, I ain't trying to get too, too drunk. And I'm glad I didn't get too, too drunk. I'm cracking them bad boys open. Like I'm taking them down in them one after one. I swear I finished a six pack within like 30 minutes. I'm not even kidding. Um, And then my mama was outside smoking. She said I was stressing her out. Which I get because I'm drunk and, and I don't know how she felt about it. Well, I do know how she felt about it. Because after so long, she took me in my room. You know, my friends and stuff was in the living room. And she was like, look, I'm about to go because I can't see you like this. So then I started crying, like, because I'm drunk. Like, I, I wish I wasn't so emotional when I was drunk. But I think that's everybody. And it depends on what I drink, too, because sometimes I'm, like, really emotional, and then sometimes I am a nuthead. Like, I want to do hot shit, like. So then she leaves. I'm still drinking. Because I'm just, I don't know. I was just trying to get rid of that image in my head because I wasn't expecting that to happen. You know, it's homecoming. We supposed to be having fun, turning up, not somebody getting shot. And turns out dude ended up dying, I guess. Rest in peace to him. And he wasn't even a Langston student. Like, that's what makes it even worse. But, you know, life happens. And um, I didn't go to a party for a long time after that. Like, the rest of that semester, I did not go to a party. So, homecoming was in October. I didn't go to a party until February. The next day, my parents come check on me and stuff. They popped up on me. They popped up on my ass. Like, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, like... Who does that? <laughs> and she she kept calling me like the first couple of phone calls. I think it was like two phone calls I did not answer because I'm dead to the world. And then she just keep calling. And I'm like, huh? Well, my blue light, your phone ringing. Like tap me, like your phone ringing. And when I'm asleep and somebody start talking to me, I'm like, hmm? I'm like, hmm? And they're like, your phone ringing. So I jump up like, oh my gosh. Like, I know my parents is in town, and I freaking out with them. And I'm pretty sure before my mom left, she was like, we're going to take you grocery shopping in the morning before we leave. So I'm like, okay. I think that's what she told me. So then I finally answered the phone, and she's like, where are you at? I'm like, in my room. <laughs> she's like, okay, well, we down the street. So I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm... Hurry up. I'm hungover. Like, I got a bad headache. So, I'm, like, trying to hurry up and get my stuff. I'm, like, bye. <laughs> and I hear up and dip up out of there. And I go back to my dorm. I hurry up. Take a shower. Like, literally, I was in and out. I have to hurry up and, like, straighten my room a little bit. Like, get rid of them bottles and everything. Because, like, I knew my dad was coming. And I don't know how he feel about me drinking or whatever. But, and honestly, I really don't care. Uh, I'm in college. My dad didn't go to college. And how I feel about it is you can't tell me what I should and shouldn't be doing in college because you didn't go. That's just my opinion. You can't tell me how to feel because you've never felt how I'm feeling in college. You know? Let me know if I'm too harsh for that. I don't really care if I was or not. Period. And they call me on my side, so I just walk outside. Well, I didn't have my shades on when I walked outside. I had a hoodie on. I had a hoodie on because my hair was in a sleep bag ponytail and my hair was messed up. I ain't even go to sleep with no bonnet on. Um, so yeah, I'm walking to the car, and I just sit in the car, I just get in the back seat, I don't even say nothing, cause like, my mom said I look like I was in a trans, which I kind of believe, because I just witnessed a nigga get shot right in front of me, and it could have been me, cause literally I was a couple, I was one person behind him, so it was him, a person, and then it was me. You know, that could have easily been the other way around. If I didn't turn around to grab my friend the night we was running out that door, I really believe it would have been me. But it wasn't, thank God. Speaking of the man above, my mom told me that that night, old boy got shot. My grandma said I was heavy on her heart that night, and she did not know why. 
And so all she did was just pray. She prayed for me to be safe. She knew it was homecoming. She knew my parents was coming to see me. She always prays whenever we go back to school because four hours in a big gap and four hours, especially on the highway. But she said that she prayed for me, prayed hard too, because she knew I was going to that party. Normally, I really don't tell my family, like my whole family about parties. I just tell my mom and she just tells who she wants to tell. And she said I was heavy on her heart, so she prayed. And I was like, ooh, that was like a security blanket. Like, cause, like I said, it could have easily been me, but it wasn't. I feel bad for whoever it was and the family. Yeah, back to being in the car. So I'm in the car. Like I said, I just get in that bad boy. I'm gonna show y'all how I get in the car. I'm just sitting like this with a hoodie on my head in the back seat. My dad driving, my mom over there, my little sister over here. I think she was asleep. She was like this on the door. I think she was asleep. So I'm just, so my mom, she's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah. My dad said, you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. See my dog back there. Um, so then we just go to Walmart. You know, once we get in there, that's when I pull these shades out of my pocket. And I put them on. Um, and then my dad looks at me and he just started laughing. And then my mom was like, what's funny? And then he like points to me and I just look at her like. And she's like, what you got these damn shades on for? And I'm like, come here. She's like, what? I'm like, come here. She's like, just say it. I'm like, mama, come here. I'm like, dang, just come here. And I whisper in her ear, I'm like, mama, I'm going go. She was like, yeah, I bet. And then we just keep grocery shopping. We get back to my dorm and stuff. And she's like, well, we about to leave. And then my feelings is kind of hurt, you know? Cause at that point, like, I was really ready to leave. Like, still like, cause I'm like, oh no, niggas is dying. Like, I can't do this. Mm -mm. I was like, look at where you come from. One of the top murder cities. I'm like, okay, just because my city is a murder city doesn't mean I, I was around it. Like I said, I, I didn't grow up in the hood. I'm not from the hood. I stay in the suburbs. I've been in the suburbs my whole life, kind of. It's still, it's life. That's just what's going to happen. And she was like, that's why you shouldn't be going to party. I mean, I ain't got nothing else to do. And she was like, yeah, I get it. But just make sure you pray before parties and try not to go intoxicated. And I was like, yeah. And then really after that, I really stopped drinking. I think so. No, I didn't stop drinking. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic after that, honestly, for a short period of time. So homecoming was in October. I was an alcoholic till my birthday, December, yeah. So I was just, I was just trying to drink my sorrows away. And then after they left, so that Monday, that's when I became an alcoholic. They, they came Friday and left Sunday. Sorry. Um, and I still had that crown left. And I think I had a little bit of Paul Masson left from like an older time. Um, but I was literally drinking every day. Like I missed class that whole week. I'm not going to say that whole week. I went to like my first classes of every day. But after that, I was not going. Cause I just be staring into space kind of, and then I just get chills like flashbacks and I was having nightmares like, oh my gosh. I had, I, I would fall asleep on the phone with my mom because I had nightmares and I'd call her in the middle of the night, four in the morning, call her, call my grandma. I don't know, I was just going through it. I was, Drinking my sorrows away. I finished that crown bottle within a week, if that. Monday to Thursday, I finished that bottle. And at the time, I was a lightweight when it came to liquor. Like, I wasn't down to liquor like that. That's my crazy college story time, part one, the TLC. Tell me if y'all guys enjoyed this one. I know it was kind of all over the place. That night was all over the place. I was drunk. So I just remember certain details. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Bye, y'all.
bought this home Saturday. <laughs> <laughs>